I'm gonna go watch you on YouTube. I'm gonna go watch you on YouTube. I'm gonna go watch you on YouTube. So good. Okay. Now that what now that we learned about one capitalist god, it's time for the other capitalist god before we get back into Minecraft. Uh, Minecraft. Before we get back into Minecraft. Yeah. Obnoxious audacity. <sighs> this morning on a nice little Sunday, show him D Rock. It's a nice Sunday. I woke up with a chip on my shoulder to talk about this audacity. This audacity that so many people have that they think they, that this one person of eight billion, you, I'm talking to you, that your judgment if NFTs is a good idea or not, or if collecting marbles, show it, or collecting old transformers, show it, or some cup from the 1800s, show it. I went on a rant on Twitter to talk about this ridiculousness. Most people live in their either or. It's why people are... It's why there are so many real problems in the world people struggle with. The concept of both and, and, it's too bad. What? what is this an NFT? Like, what the f Did he... This sounds like one of those things that you guys are right in the chat to get me to f read it, but it doesn't actually make any sense. And then I f pause on it and I try to read it over and over again until, boom, too late. I've been debated. It's like not even a f***ing real paragraph that you wrote. It also shows its hand in new technology. You can be into NFTs and physical goods. I'm about to buy a lot of cardboard. What? <laughs> that people think the world is either or instead of and. Instead of and. You're so addicted with or. No, no. This is good and that's not. Like collectible watches are smart. Uh, collectible f sneakers are smart. But Thundercats are not. Jackson Pollock, good. The beautiful part about this take is that, like, all of what he is referencing absolutely revolves around a speculative market, a secondary marketplace where people speculate on the price point of certain things, okay? So, from a capitalist point of view, yes, it's all subjective. And yes, he is right. NFTs in and of itself are just as uh, bullshit as, like, prior versions of NFTs. But the main difference between an NFT and these things that he's mentioning is that there's at least a physical property attached to it, okay? So, like, in its essence, in the energy, when he talks about, like, Thundercats, th those are collectible items, it's like, yes, if enough people say that that piece of garbage is actually, you know, worth something, then technically it's worth something. It's worth the value of whatever the people are, uh, whatever the value people decide it is, okay? Like... That is fine. This is his point in a meme. The fictional economy, fake, made up, fictional. The crypto economy, double fake, double made up, double fictional, featuring Matt Damon. The financial economy, fake, made up, fictional. I didn't even read the financial economy as financial. I read it as fictional economy. Look at that. Such a good leftist. Anyway. It's an and FT, not an or FT. <laughs> I love that. Okay, hold on. Sports cards bad. Sports cars good. Handbags. Who the f No, all of those things are just ways for the wealthy to park their uh, assets. Okay? It's just ways for tax evasion. It's just ways for the wealthy to like uh, to, to showcase their level of wealth. Every single thing he just mentioned, including diamonds, for example, are just, you know, Expensive because we have decided they are expensive. Do you think you are? The biggest mistake I see right now on everyone's hot takes on NFTs is the culture of no and the culture of either or. If you dropped an M and an E, post edit this shit, Team Gary. If you dropped an M and an E at the beginning and the end of that terrible word or and made it more, you would actually live life. The biggest issue in life is that people think it's either or, that their religion is better oh, than- Fuck yes, dude. Yo, he's spitting right now, bro. I can't believe, dude, 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 dude. Oh my God, I just made a million, dude. That, that right there, dude, if people were like, yo, Hassan, do you want a billion dollars or do you want one billion moments with Gary V that, ex that are exactly like that? I say, one billion moments with Gary V, baby. That's right. This man, this man's, He's worth more than a billion dollars. He's worth a gorillion dollars, which is a real amount of money.
than someone else's, that their political stance is better than somebody else's, that their product is better than someone else's, that their content is better. Your inability to understand everybody can get theirs, that we can all coexist, that NFTs can dominate while sports cards and comics and toys. I'm going to the national this upcoming week or in two weeks to Chicago and I'm gonna buy a load and I need a load of cardboard while I'm also gonna buy NFTs on the blockchain and very easily in my I love this because it's like dude investment into these sorts of like memorabilia and shit like that is already a foolhardy endeavor but at this point two minutes in it's basically him just flexing that he has a lot of he has a lot of money so he could just gamble it away on all of these different things right that's basically it He's just saying, like, I have a lot of money and I can gamble it on whatever the fuck I want. I could do it. And, and it's not an or situation. But for people who he's speaking to, they do not have that kind of disposable income. Okay? So they actually do have to make a decision on, like, are they able to buy cardboard or are they able to buy NFTs? Now, if you ask me, don't buy either, obviously. I think that that is a horrible fucking idea. Both are different kinds of gambles. Okay? And both of those are going to hurt you in the long run. Okay. Gary V has made his entire uh, net worth by making those gambles because he was able to have capital up front. Okay. As a consequence of his father's very successful business that he made truly more successful through his marketing uh, initiatives for sure. Okay. But now, now after the original upfront capital that he got from that situation, he was able to make what is known as angel investments. So for every 20 bad investments that he dumped like 10K into or 20K into, okay, he could operate like a VC and end up striking gold with one of his investments and uh, hit a whale. This is the entire economy around Silicon Valley. So that's precisely why he can do that exact same thing, but with, you know, these material goods that he purchases. Oh in heart and in my soul and in my brain and in my at this essence what i find it extremely annoying when you don't give and material real argument on nfts now i will eat my burrito by myself with what gram fit with no gram fidgets because you wanted to get stun locked no i'm gonna do gram fidgets in a second sorry I'm don't worry you will eat the burrito with master chef okay and pumped, you rock. In my essence, it's very easy for those things to coexist. And the shit that I'm not interested in, watches, sports cards, handbags, antiques from Europe, and the other trillion things, including, stick with me now, the other things I don't give a fuck about investing in, like, stick with me now, real estate. You know how many I give about Wait, okay, that's bananas, bro. At least like with the real estate market, like, as far as an investment in the real estate market goes, like the government does its very best to f protect that asset, okay? Because a lot of Americans are engaging in that. A lot of Americans see home ownership as an investment vehicle. <laughs> there is no such protection for shoes, dude. Okay? It's all purely speculative. There's no like control mechanism, okay? There's no like government stopping you from making new Supreme shoes. Like if Supreme wanted it, they could just totally destroy the market value of a particular type of shoe that you own putting my money in real estate zero meanwhile do i understand that some people do well almost everybody that's an icon in real estate i don't understand like i mean look you know me i'm like not big investment andy at all but at the very least like at the very least like i have somewhat of an understanding and i feel like he's just giving you wrong advice on purpose you know what i mean what the well, I guess he's not giving you wrong advice. He's giving you good advice for him because good advice for him is, uh, you know, you get invested into the NFTs as well so he can sell you his open sea bolt dog shit that he's uh, shilling out for like, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars and then you get caught holding the bag. It's just he's at the top of the pyramid, right? And by sports teams, Steve, like, do I understand it? Yes, but do I have the f***ing obnoxious audacity to think my one opinion of not being interested in making passive income in real estate is right no i do not this world is an and world and every 
fucking person that thinks it's an or world will continue to lose and cry and leave hate because you're sad because you think the world is limited when it's not. So figure it the out. The world is about and. The world is about more. And the more you put passion. I also love that like a lot of people make it seem like there's an endless amount of wealth and that it is not a and it's not a zero sum game when capitalism quite literally is because someone always has to be cleaning the toilets. So homies like this literally tell you that like, no, no, trust me. Like you will not clean the toilets anymore if you listen to me, but like quite literally they are reinforcing that same cycle of, you know, subjugating you into toilet cleaning uh, for the rest of your life by doing this very same thing. And also by lying about the reality under capitalism. Whereas at the very least, I tell you like, listen, someone has to do clean the toilets, but like the person who's cleaning the toilets should get a, you know, larger share of the profits uh, and that there should be uh, more of a democratic organization around toilet cleaning, uh, you know, because the toilet cleaner is also uh, putting a lot of effort and energy into uh, the company way more than it's currently being paid. That's the difference. Passion into leaving little snide. Oh, yes, we are going to die from climate change 100%. Yes. Comments or thinking you're right over a drink or it's a fad. You said social was a fad. You said TikTok was a fad. You said the internet was a fad. You said you. Cool, bro. Who the f said the internet was a fad, dude? Those people are dead. Like, like my dad doesn't think, didn't think the internet was a fad and he's like 60 plus years old. You know what I mean? Like, who, who the f Paul Krugman did? <laughs> uh, Nobel laureate, dude. Nice. You'd never get a f iPhone because you love your f Blackberry. You f no mafia. This no ma Wait, what? You said, bla wait, what? They said it was the black a fad. You said the internet was a fad. You said you'd never get a f iPhone because you love your f Blackberry. You f no mafia. This no mafia. So many of you are. Bro, the problem with this is that, like, if you say yes to everything and you have enough money to be able to say yes to everything, one out of 20 is going to hit. Okay? And that, that's great. Like, you won, right? You won and you can make up for all of the f losses on the other side. Yeah, exactly. I was just describing it earlier. Marat just said that's literally what VCs do. And, and that's the difference between Gary and everybody else. He can say yes to everything now. Okay, but with respect to his entire net worth or with respect to his like overall disposable income, whatever the f okay, he's not making a decision that is as big as a percentage of like his yearly f revenue as you are if you are going to make an investment decision when you're living in a situation where you're a worker and the budget shortfall is built into your f existence. Okay. Yeah, it is like streamers gambling. Exactly, exactly like streamers fucking gambling. Like, they can do it. Partially because they're getting paid to do so. Partially because they're gambling with the house money. You can't. Because you're not doing that. Don't do that. <sighs> sucks. It sucks. <laughs> Share this video that changed somebody's life. This is why Gary's on my Mount Rushmore of human beings as the roommates. I call this the all or nothing mentality myself, similar to either or. Ever since I realized it and stopped extremism, I thought in my mind, my life has gotten a lot easier. Also, over time, I get that you can't be all in, no all or nothing mentality either. What? What happened? What people value is what they value. People thought being on YouTube was a waste of time. Look how that one played out. Nobody believed in esports. Guess what? They're wrong about that. I think people don't realize that for every f successful initiative, there was like a million f for all the TikToks, there was like a million f social media platforms that you didn't even think about. Okay. Like it's not always Ubers. Okay. And the people at the top can make those risky financial choices. You know, that's it. Like they can make that, but you can't. These dudes are all actual morons who lucked into random investments and think they're brilliant. Yeah, exactly. People forget that MySpace existed because Facebook was a success. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. He's just like he's just like yelling at people at garage sales and like that's how he. I mean, 
the thing is like his investments aren't keeping him afloat okay at this point he's a content creator oh yeah the literal president of el salvador is the final boss of crypto most people go in when the price is up but the safest and most profitable moment is to buy when the price is down it's not rocket science so invest a piece of your mcdonald's paycheck now go back to flip burgers you lazy f dude this guy is so bad this homie literally <laughs> oh my god he is the final boss of crypto i love him sir they don't need to invest their mcdonald's paychecks because they paid taxes and then you invested it for them at the top wait is this guy like a Wait, is this dude like a pro crypto? No shot this dude is pro crypto, right? He's making fun of him, right? Oh my god, he changed his... Oh my god. It's pretty funny that so many people will be like, Dude, shut the f*** up. You're a f piece of shit. You survive on capitalism. Like, as though there is an alternative, you know what I mean? As though that I can live outside of the capitalist system, right? And then they f yell at me. Meanwhile, they and hype up all these dudes that are literally just milking them, okay? So I'm gonna need you to vibe check AB because he's a big Gary V fan. No shot. <laughs> no one believes in Oxycontin. Now look at us, Purdue. You have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, totally, bro. You're going to the moon. Look into hybrid smart contracts and hash graph and then talk to me, you boomer ass Luddite. Listen, bro. Listen. Listen, listen, if you're going to say that like operating a system that is slower than the current process for financial transactions only by, only by using a ton of energy, just like a ton, entire nation's worth of energy in like weeks. If you're telling me that's the future, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know, brother. At a time when like climate change is 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 uh pretty fucking disastrous i just feel like it's not the best idea okay attempt number two gary v tried to scam my family out of 100k through his sham sports agency business i can eat my burrito now thank you <laughs> if it's so easy to make money if you just lie to working class people and give them a tiny glimmer of hope they escape their shitty lives yeah yeah the real way to do it is by Telling them the truth and then having all of them want to kill you. That's the, that's the better way to do it. So that they could all want to kill you and say you're the actual grifter. You're the actual liar grifter. You know what I mean? That's the, that's the better thing to do. Anyway. I'm sorry, but I wouldn't try commenting anymore on crypto law. Those are, there are protocols that basically... They use basically no energy and are very fast law. Maybe not Bitcoin, but there are newer protocols. Oh, okay. All right. That's cool, man. What do you mean? It's really funny until you read this. What? Like that he... That Naib Bukele is the, the Palestinian uh, leader of El Salvador. Oh, man. Have fun, guys. Listen, don't yell at me, okay? Don't fucking yell at me if the if your crypto shit didn't pan out, okay? I'm sorry. Well done. I don't want to be horny anymore. I just want to be happy. Oh, it's true. I do feel that way. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>